Hello, I'm Father Brian Brooks, I'm the pastor of the Church of St. Benedict here in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, to, to offer a reflection for today, Wednesday, August the 5th. And today's meditation comes from uh, Dr. Mary Healy. She is a professor of sacred scripture, a member of the biblical, uh, uh, sorry, the Pontifical Biblical Commission, and also teaches at a seminary in Detroit. Also, if you're looking for a really good commentary on the Gospel of Mark, I can recommend this. This is from my bookshelf, and I refer to this particularly when the cycle of readings, for, for, particularly for Sunday Mass, is focusing on, on Mark's Gospel. She spoke here a few years ago uh, to the Catholic Charismatic for the Renewal Group, as well as to the priests and deacons of our, of our diocese. So, this meditation today is about in, instructed in the kingdom of heaven. She makes reference to praying with the scriptures in a form called Lexio Divina, which is Latin for the basically sacred reading. So she also talks about the importance of, of sacred scripture in our lives, the calling us to that ongoing conversion. So she begins. When I first began to study the Bible, I experienced what the disciples on the road to Emmaus felt. Did not our hearts burn within us while he walked and and talked to us on the road while he opened the scriptures to us. Gradually, I formed a daily habit of Lexio Divina, which simply means reading scripture in conversation with God. Through daily Lexio Divina, I experienced the Lord renewing my mind. Scripture is inexhaustible. Even after reading the same passage for the hundredth time, the Holy Spirit may reveal something new about it. St. Augustine wrote, How amazing is the profundity of your words! How amazing their profundity, oh my God, how amazingly deep they are. When I wake up in the morning, I am not typically overflowing with godly thoughts and heavenly charity. In fact, I need to be reconverted each day. I may wake up distracted or grumpy or burdened with the concerns of the day with my mind on worldly things or not at all attuned to God. I need time with the Lord. I need to be immersed once again in his love so that I can walk through the day in communion with him. That is why early morning is the best time to pray. As we hear in Psalm 57, Awake my soul, awake, o, o harp and lyre, I will awake the dawn. And each morning, whether I feel it or not, God is there with a greater, far greater desire to lavish his grace on me than my desire to receive it. Deep calls to deep, as we hear in Psalm uh, 42. And he is inviting me to enter in, receive, partake, and enjoy the fullness of life that he has for me. He invites, uh, he invites you too to come to him every day in prayer so that he can, as we hear St. Paul write to the, the church in Ephesus, so that he can strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being that you may have strength to comprehend with all the holy ones what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Wonderful, I think, where she says that, and certainly this is for me, <clears throat> that every morning, whether I feel it or not, God is ready has a far greater desire to lavish grace upon us than our desire to receive it because I too do not always wake up in the best of moods I'm ready to with my mind on God distract with many things that's why we're called to be renewed each day in prayer in the scriptures in the sacraments so let us be renewed by God's love for us in Jesus Christ God bless you and keep you safe